Hello everybody, it's Melinda again and it is now day three of my day one video project and I'm really having fun with these videos and it's really giving me an opportunity to kind of talk about some things that are on my mind and um, of course share them with whoever may be watching but of course keeping me on track which just means keeping me motivated and focused. So. Um, today is the first day of the Mardi Gras season, and for a lot of people in New Orleans, that means a lot of different things. Um, but for me, it's just Monday, and I'm back at work. And today I'm recording my video uh, in my office, so you'll see behind me some things that I always have nearby, um, including um, my little friend, the Let That Shit Go, because I figure I can just take that little laminated sucker with me everywhere. I can do these videos and we can always refer back to that. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today was something that occurred to me a couple of days ago and it's been on my mind ever since. And really what it's about is it's about the fact that I managed to screw up my self-care. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what that means. So for me, um, I've been on this practice, um, among other things, I've been on a practice of really integrating pleasure into my life, and that's probably a topic for another video session, but um, and that means lots of different things. And a couple of days ago was the day I did my first video, and it was kind of a big day, and I did a lot of stuff, and I wanted to kind of give myself the gift of taking kind of a long bath salt bath, like a hot bath. And I'd set myself up with all the things that I wanted to have. I had both of my journals. Yes, I have two journals. <laughs> I had my pen. I might have had a little glass of wine. I was super ready for this like indulgent time. Um, and so I get in the bathtub and it's lovely and, and all those things. And unfortunately, another thing that I brought with me near the bathtub was my phone. And so I found myself picking up my phone and suddenly there I was scrolling through social media. And then I wound up probably reading a couple of articles that may or may not have been interesting. Um, and I kind of had this moment where I looked up and I realized that a ton of time had gone by and my bath water was getting lukewarm and wasn't even feeling that motivated anymore to even write in my journals. And I just sat there and was like, what the heck did I just do? Um, and so basically that whole experience was kind of just deleted almost um, by this bad habit. And I know that a lot of people can relate to this habit of scrolling through our social media, right? And just kind of falling down the rabbit hole um, and snapping out of it and realizing, wait, where did that time go? What did I do? And so I've had that habit, obviously, as many of us have, for a long time. And it's really started to bother me lately, especially as I've tried to integrate some new things into my day, including things like these videos. And so um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about, is the idea of, of a bad habit. And, you know, habits that we don't like, bad habits, like scrolling through social media and losing lots of time, empty time, um, bad habits can bring about a sense of shame. Because um, what do you feel after you've done something, a bad habit? You feel shame. Um, and a lot of negative self-talk may come from that. And so that's a bad habit that a lot of people struggle with. Um, is that negative self-talk, that sense of shame after we've done something we don't want to be doing. And so, you know, for me, kind of the shit that I want to let go is this kind of incessant, mindless scrolling through social media. Um, it's one thing to be mindful in using social media, but it's another thing to just lose track of time and lose a sense of self um, in a, again, a mindless way. So that's the shit I want to let go of. And um, again, uh, I, well, actually, I was just reading an article a few days ago that I want to mention, and I'm going to put in the comments of the video. It was an article that was really attention getting for me. It was about basically a whole protocol of basically treating phone addiction. 
and, and there are people out there who specialize in treating phone addiction. And the article was kind of um, detailing how one goes about addressing phone addiction. I'm not quite there yet, but it definitely got my attention and then followed by this incident in, that I had where I ruined my own self-care practice. It's got me thinking. So, and as a therapist, of course, um, you know, I often talk about things like mindfulness in my practice with my clients. And mindfulness is a giant topic that's become almost a cliche. But when you have a bad habit that you want to break, something you want to stop doing, one of the best ways to do it is to do some mindfulness practices. And the reason you want to do mindfulness practices is because you want to become aware. Um, the first step in breaking any habit is really simply becoming aware of what you're doing, when you're doing it, and um, then you can start to make some changes. And so a mindfulness practice can mean a lot of different things, um, but it can be very, very simple. And often um, when I talk with clients about mindfulness, it's about making suggestions like taking a mindful walk. Um, just take five minutes and go outside and walk. Don't have music in your headphones. Do it by yourself. Um, and just use your five senses to identify what's around you as you're walking. Feel your feet hit the ground every time you step. What are you hearing around you? Maybe it's the trees rustling. Maybe it's cars going by. Maybe it's a dog barking down the street. What do you see? Obviously, there's many things to see. The trees, the plants, a pretty fence, crack in the sidewalk. Hopefully in New Orleans you'll see that before you trip on it. What do you smell? Again, New Orleans is full of smells, good and bad. But as you're walking, using your senses, um, even what you're tasting, you might actually taste something um, as you're walking. Maybe you have gum in your mouth, or maybe there's kind of something in the air that's even coming into your taste sense. And of course, what are you feeling? Reaching out and touching a tree next to you. Reaching out and touching something that has some substance to it. So that's something you can easily do. Um, and again, a mindful walk is just a nice way to do it, but you can do anything mindfully. And so whenever you want to break a bad habit, like scrolling on your phone, the first thing to do is become aware of it, but then a good exercise to do right after you've become aware of it is to just stop and look around you and just take two minutes just be mindful. Right now, I'm in my office, so I can talk about what I see. Of course, I see myself reflected back in my laptop, but I also see the lamp behind me. I see my stack of files over here. I see a window. Um, what do I smell? I have a candle going over here, so I smell that. What do I taste? Well, I have coffee over here. I'm tasting that. What do I hear? I hear the sound of the noise, white noise machine outside my door. It's pretty quiet in here right now. That's about the only thing I hear. Um, and what do I touch? What do I feel with my hands? Well, I have pants on. I can feel that. I can reach over and feel my desk, the wood of my desk. So that's just kind of a quick example of how you can stop what you're doing and do a really quick mindfulness check-in which again can kind of bring you back into focus. Um, and if you do those exercises on a regular basis, they can be a great first step in addressing a bad habit, whether it's kind of a benign bad habit or it's one that you really have a sense of shame over and you really want to get some control um, over so that your life can improve just that little bit. Um, so that's what was on my mind today and that was the shit I want to get rid of, which is mindless scrolling. And that's going to be a process for me. Um, and the song that I want to mention uh, is uh, yesterday, a couple days ago, when I was kind of having all this, these thoughts, I was cooking after having this kind of ongoing dialogue in my head about bad habits. I was cooking and I had an R&B playlist on and I was listening to some great music as I was cooking and a song came on and I loved the song and I was singing to it. Sorry to everybody in my general vicinity, because uh, I, I do that on the regular. Um, and it was Erica Badu's song called Tyrone. It's a classic, very old school. 
And um, if you've ever heard this song, you know what it's about. It's about empowerment. It's about a woman who's telling her man to GTFO. She's done with that relationship because it's no longer serving her. And then I realized she's tossing out that man like a bad habit, <laughs> right? Um, so, you know, she really um, very, again, from a very empowered perspective, is ending a bad habit that is this relationship that's really, again, not serving her. And in that song, it's like her day one from that relationship is turning away from that. I also love it because she happens to talk about going home to meditate, so that's kind of nice. Anyway, I'll add that to, uh, so I have started a playlist. Um, I've started a playlist on Spotify, um, so you can look for that. It is the Day One 2020 playlist, and each day when I add, mention a song, I'll add it to the playlist. I also will create a YouTube playlist just because this is on YouTube, um, and so those will be videos of the songs and sometimes just the audio for those that don't have videos. Um, and just, I want to mention, I did start a little Instagram account just for this. Also, it's day one, 2020. You can look me up on Instagram. So in any case, thank you for listening. I hope you find uh, some time to do some mindfulness practices. <laughs>